Here's how to use Google Calendar. Use the clickable sections below to skip through different parts of this tutorial. First, launch your web browser and Google Calendar. To do this, click on the dotted square icon in the top right hand corner. A drop down menu will appear displaying different Google apps. Click on Calendar. If you're not already logged into your Google account, you'll be prompted to do so. Enter your login details here. If you don't have an account already, you can sign up for one for free on google.com. You can also reach your calendar directly by going to the web link, calendar.google.com. On the screen, you'll now see your calendar for the week and all your events. To add an event to your calendar, double click on the day when the event will take place. A window will appear. First, give your event a title. This will be the main piece of information you'll see displayed on the calendar. Let's say we've just booked 10 workout sessions. Underneath the heading, confirm the date and time of the event by selecting the correct event duration. If an event is taking place all day, such as an anniversary, you can click the All Day option here. Your event should automatically be set to Does Not Repeat. This would apply if the event is a one-off and only takes place once at that specific time and date. In this instance, we want this event to be every morning before work. Click on the drop-down and select the appropriate setting. You can choose other settings by selecting the Custom option. For example, if you only want to train Monday to Thursday, you can unclick Friday. Choose when a repeated event ends by clicking one of the three options below Ends. In this instance, we've booked 10 sessions. Click on After and then select 10 occurrences. You can also select the date when the event ends by choosing On and then the date. You can add location details to help attendees find their way using GPS. Start typing in the location and Google Maps will recognize the full address. Click on the correct suggestion to add to the event. When your guests click on the location, they'll go straight to seeing the location on Google Maps. You can choose when you want to be notified about your event. Click on Notification and then select Email if you'd prefer to be notified by email rather than receiving an alert. Then select how long before the event you want to be notified. You can add more notifications by clicking Add Notification. If you don't want to be notified at all, press X. You may want to show people you're busy if you're creating an event for other people. To do this, make sure Busy is highlighted and then select Default Visibility to choose Public or Private from the drop-down menu. We'll keep this to free. In this box, you can add all the details you want about your event. You can also attach additional documents using the paperclip icon. You can change the way you view your calendar to focus on what you want to look at. To view your calendar monthly, click on the week icon and then select month from the drop-down. Your events are shown on your calendar at the time they take place. The interview with Sarah Little is taking place from 4 to 5 p.m. If an event is taking all day, it'll be shown at the very top of the day. On the monthly view, these events will be highlighted instead. On your calendar page on the left, you'll see the month. You can scroll through the different months by clicking on the arrows. This won't change the main calendar view. To change the main calendar view, scroll through the arrows at the top of the page here. You may only want to see the events you have coming up. Click on the calendar view drop-down button again and select Schedule. In Schedule view, only days with events are listed. You can also search for an event in your calendar. Type on the search icon and then enter a keyword such as a location or a guest and the event will appear in the drop-down below. At the bottom of the page, you'll see My Calendars. These are calendars that you have created or added from the Google Suite account. Other calendars show calendars that have been added from the Google Suite built in. To hide or show a calendar, click on the box beside it. Color coding helps organize your different calendars. To change the color of a calendar, hover over the name and then click on the three dots. You can then select a color. When creating an invite in Google Calendar, click on the Add Guests bar and then type in the email address of the person you want to invite to your event. If you've sent them an email before on your Gmail account, their address will pop up automatically when you start typing them in. 
You can also type in an email from scratch. Once you've added all your guests, click Save. A pop-up will appear. Clicking Send will send your guests a notification and ask them if they'd like to add the event to their calendar. If you don't want to notify them, choose Don't Send. To edit an event that's already been created, click on it and you'll see a pop-up appear beside it. This will summarise all the important information about your event. Click on the Edit Event icon and then you'll be able to change the details. You can also double-click on the event and you'll be taken straight there. Once you've made your changes, if the event is recurring, a pop-up will appear. You can choose to apply changes to just the event you've edited or to the others as well. Select this and following events to update your future events in the series or select all events to also update ones that have already happened. Decide whether you want guests to be notified if you make changes to the event. We'll choose to notify them with a personalised email message and clicking send. To delete an event, click on it in the calendar view and select the delete icon. It will then be removed from your calendar. You can choose the same options as before if it's a series of events by deciding whether to delete the entire series of events or just the one you're editing. When editing an event, you can also choose More Actions and then Delete from the drop-down menu to remove it. Create calendars to share with your team so everyone can see them at any time. To create a new calendar, click on the plus sign next to Other Calendars you'll see a drop-down of options. You can create a new calendar or add one that already exists. We'll create a new calendar. Start by giving the calendar a title and a description. Below, you can set the time zone for your calendar. To finish, click Create Calendar. A notification at the bottom will confirm that the calendar has been created. You'll also see it appear on the left side under Settings for My Calendars. Click the calendar on the left side and more setting options will appear. Under the Calendar Settings tab, you can share your calendar with others. Add their email addresses by clicking the Add People button below Share Your Calendar with Specific People. Add your teammates and they'll be sent an invitation to your new calendar. You can also share your calendar by sending them the web link from this page.